Hey everyone, I'm Andre and welcome to my channel Think of Food. Today we're going to peel and clean the jackfruit and we're going to see what we can actually make from it. So stay tuned, it's going to be special. Okay, so in this video we're going to peel and clean the jackfruit and in order to do it, we need to have a couple of things here. First, two bowls, one for the scraps, one for the clean fruit, a cutting board, a knife, a pair of gloves, and you come closer. Otherwise, it's going to be messy. Okay, so when we have our pair of gloves, let's take the jackfruit and look a little bit on it, and I will explain some of his parts. So you have the seeds, you have the flesh that we usually eat, the yellow one, you have the white part, which is uh, bitter, you have the middle, and you have the spikes. On the outside it looks a little bit more like the durian, but the spikes are smaller, and in my opinion the flavor is much better. So, let's start by cutting it into a half. And out of perspective of uh, size, this is a quarter of uh, food. So, Sometimes they sell at quarters, sometimes eights. It depends on the store. But this part, this one cost me like around ten dollars Canadians. So when we divide it into half, and it's only because of the convenience of cutting it on the board, we're going to cut the center part. And you want, as you see, the knife it will go up here to cut. The whole part. And the other side also, a little bit. Now it's out. All of this part will go to the garbage. In this moment, to come to this part type of opening, we're just going to take it from the bottom and push it up. And it's going to open like a pomegranate. Everything going to come out. And I really recommend to you to use the gloves, otherwise the process is really, really sticky. All the inside flesh and everything is really, really sticky. And you're going to just pull the flesh out with a little bit of the strings, take them down, put them in the garbage, and open the flesh and reveal the seed. Take it out, garbage, and a nice one in the bowl with the others. And again, we want to take the strings, take the seed from the middle, this and this into the garbage, and this is the flesh into the bowl. Take it out. And when you're taking the seed out, you want to be sure that you're taking the seed itself and the part that cover it, because the part that cover it, it's also, it's bitter. There is nothing tasty about it. Take the seed out. Take the flesh. Take it out. And process. The jackfruit itself comes from uh, Asia. And like uh, it's really really popular in uh, India, Indonesia, and uh, especially in Sri Lanka because they called the jackfruit the national fruit there. Okay, so now you can see that we have our two bowls, one with the scraps and one with the fruit flesh. And you can see that you have a proportion here. So when you're buying this fruit, take into consideration that you're going to throw a little bit from it. So if you need more fruit, buy a bigger one, or if you need less, buy smaller. This is going to be enough for us to make panna cotta, but this is going to be in a different video. To finish cleaning the jackfruit, you really should clean all the equipment that you use really, really properly because everything is going to be a little bit sticky. I will tell you the truth and I didn't knew it in the first time, so I'm telling you it right now. 
Okay, a couple of things about uh, finishing the process of cleaning it. After you peel the jackfruit, better always to take it and put it a little bit in warm water, rinse it a little bit, and then transfer it to an airtight container with a lid and store it in the fridge, of course. You really want to put it in an airtight container because this fruit is really, really releasing flavor and you really can smell it. And when you put it in the fridge, you don't want to come the next day and after that you open the fridge and all the fridge smells like jackfruit. So you close it and this is the way you're going to store it in the fridge and we're going to make it from it panna cotta in the next video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'm really encouraging you to subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment in the video below and see you in the next video.